Hey, everybody, welcome back to Linux, I mean, Steam Deck for everyone, <laughs> and welcome home. Whether you're finally holding your shiny new Steam Deck or you're just living vicariously through people like me, welcome to the beginning of my Steam Deck challenge. Now, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to desktop mode on the Steam Deck and explain how to get it connected to an external monitor with a USB-C hub. And we're going to briefly look at the wired and Bluetooth peripherals that I'm using in my personal setup. All right, wait, wait, let's let's back up. What What is this Steam Deck desktop mode challenge? Um, basically, I'm using my Steam Deck as my main PC for work and gaming. I'm documenting my experience along the way, and I'm making video guides and articles to help current and future SteamOS users, especially all of the brand new Linux users that I'm sure are gonna be coming out of the woodwork, which is awesome. So whether it's editing footage I've captured, writing video scripts and articles, chatting on Discord, obsessively browsing the Steam Deck subreddit, obsessively tweeting about the Steam Deck, or just enjoying Netflix, I'm doing it all on the deck. Oh, but there's just one catch. I'm doing it all without using the command line or resorting to any power user tweaks because I really want to reflect the experience that an average user is going to have. Okay, so you probably know this already. Your Steam Deck is much more than a game console. Hold the power button down and select switch to desktop and you'll be dropped into a modern Linux desktop environment powered by Arch and KDE Plasma. A bunch of the apps you already use on a Windows or a Mac OS PC are just a click away. For now, let's just focus on getting your deck connected to an external monitor and hooking up your mouse, your keyboard, your headphones, and your controllers, all that stuff. Now, sadly, Valve's official docking station won't be released until closer to summer 2022. If you don't want to wait, you can buy just about any USB-C dongle or hub to get the job done. Just make sure whatever you choose meets these basic requirements to ensure you have a smooth experience. At first, it obviously needs to be a USB-C connection. It needs to be a self-powered hub, or it has to support USB-C power delivery of at least 45 watts. I would recommend looking for one that's over 60 watts to be safe. This way you can plug in your Steam Deck's power supply and not lose a charge while having a bunch of stuff like mics or webcams connected. On a related note, not all USB-C hubs are created equal. My overpriced Apple dongle did not let enough power through to the deck, meaning it could not maintain a full charge while in use. I would also recommend getting a, a hub or a dongle with at least two USB 3.0 ports. I think you're gonna use them. Anyway, I went with a D-Link DUB M520. I'll have a link uh, in the description below, but I think you can do better. I really do. If I had been more patient, I would have found several alternatives for nearly half the price, which aren't limited to 4K 30 hertz like mine is. Setting up your external display is about as straightforward as it is on Windows or Mac OS. The deck will automatically detect it once you plug it into your connected USB hub, but you may want to adjust the resolution, the refresh rate, and even the orientation and position of the displays relative to where you're sitting. To get to those settings, just tap the Steam Deck logo in the bottom left corner. That's what's called your application launcher. Then select settings and then system settings and then display and monitor, or you know what? Here's a much easier method. Hit the start or super key and just type display and you'll see the result that you are looking for. Once you're finished, just click apply and then keep those settings if they look good. The Steam Deck will remember this setup even if you switch back and forth between gaming mode and desktop mode. So that's really cool. All right, so let's move on to peripherals. This is something I have been absolutely thrilled with. I have been so happy with this experience. Maybe you've heard horror stories about Linux and how it takes an act of God to pair things like Bluetooth controllers. Well, consider that myth obsolete with SteamOS. Whatever Valve has done to smooth the pain points is noticeable. Linux purists, you might view this as blasphemy, but I think it's a testament to the deck's diversity. And yes, I'm I'm typing away, writing this script right now on an Apple Magic Keyboard uh, for listening to my personal music library on Plexamp. 
I paired my Sennheiser Bluetooth headphones, but I also tested my Xbox wireless headphones and those worked perfectly. For gaming on the desktop, I have my Xbox Series controller and PS4 DualShock ready to go. Anyway, the vast majority of Bluetooth and wired peripherals you have are probably going to work. Pairing a new Bluetooth device is really easy. Just come down to your system tray down on the bottom right, look for that Bluetooth icon, right click it, and select add new device, or do a primary click, and you'll see the devices that you have connected, and you can click the plus button to add your device. Now this is really just kind of a, a warm up video. It's just the beginning of uh, a very deep dive into using this awesome device as your main PC. It's gonna be an evolving series and I wanna tackle as many of your suggestions as possible. So if you've got ideas I should test out, the software or gaming scenarios you're curious about or any other questions you want answers to, please uh, leave a comment or you can reach out to me directly on Twitter. I will have a link to my Twitter account down in the description. Coming up next though, it's gonna be an introduction to all the cool software that you can have on SteamOS with the click of a button through KDE's Discover app. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm gonna get out of your hair. Uh, until we chat again, you guys take care and take care of each other. See ya.